Hey, I'm David Draper with Peterson Sunning here with Seth McGinn of Can Cooker fame, and he's got a lot of pretty cool new products we're gonna talk about, but even more importantly, we're gonna cook some fried fish, and I'm gonna work up a famous hush puppy recipe, and we're all gonna do it all, all in the can cooker and with your cool cooker here. Yeah, let's get started. Yep. Today, we're gonna break out the portable. Yep. It runs on butane. Perfect. Quick, easy fuel for in the back country, yep. in the backyard. Throw it in your Lock truck. Lock it down, turn it on, automatic ignite. That simple. We're gonna do the can cooker. It is not what it was intended for. I bet it works. But it works slick. So, ceramic coated. Yeah. So you can keep your oil in there. Yeah, super easy to clean up once we're done. Right, or if all weekend when we're out fishing, yeah. we can put Just the lid on, keep the, the oil. Down. Yeah, keep no, the oil fresh. No bugs get in it, flies. Yeah. That's perfect. Well, you're glugging that out. I got a couple walleye here. And chop I'm gonna them up. chop them up. Just cut them in some big chunks. Man, who doesn't like fresh walleye? All right, right for Peterson's Hunting Magazine, I should probably write for In Fisherman, though, because I love to fish as well. Brought some fresh walleye. You can tell these were the small ones I brought, too. Right? <laughs> we're going to bread these in our new batter bowl. Collapses down for storage. Put the tray in between the two pieces. Pop this out. That is slick. And that's slick for camping because it goes down compact. And you can also just use it as a bowl for anything else. You don't have to use like the batter insert if you're not making fish. You can right. use it for a bowl for whatever you're mixing up. You ready to roll? Yeah, Man, I'm ready to you're roll. You're waiting on me again. As usual. So. Gonna, we're going to test out some new uh, seasoning little, batter mix. You got a little batter making? mix coming down the pike, maybe? maybe. 2023 introduction. If it tastes any good? Yeah, I think it's going to be delicious. Tastes while like you, more? While you're doing that and while we're waiting for the oil to heat up, I'm going to work on the hush puppy mix over here. So I already mixed our dry ingredients, a cup of cornmeal, and about a half a cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder. Also got a pinch of salt and a pinch of sugar in there. So this ain't a secret no more. Oh, jeez, I just told everybody. <laughs> and about a half a cup of buttermilk and a tablespoon or two of melted butter. Woo. So we're gonna mix that all up. I'm also gonna throw a little bit of your seasoning in here, a little Creole seasoning to give it some spice. It's up not. Yeah, if I had some green chilies or some scallions, I would throw that in as well. And a little shot of the uh, hot pepper stuff over there as well. So you just wanna get that nice and wet. And then we're gonna drop that in the hot oil once a time. Getting close. Getting, getting close, close, getting close. Man, I'm not used to working with big walleye chunks like that. Yeah, thank you. Put the lid on. Oh, you weren't complimenting my fishing skills? Yeah. The... No bones. Somebody I did just, a good job playing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that easy. I mean, and that's the way it should be. When you're cooking outdoors, you want to make it right, simple. Right, to have fun, yeah. quick, easy, convenient. Yeah. Make the cooking easy, so then you can go out and have fun. Right. Fishing, hunting, whatever you're doing. Sitting around a campfire, giving your buddies a hard time. I can hear it. Starting to, starting to boil. Oh, I can hear it. So are we going to do them at the same time? Let's do a little bit of fish, because then I can snack on that while these are cooking up. All right. So we only got oil to about here. You don't want to fill it. Yeah, that's the thing about this setup with here. You don't have to waste a ton of oil with like right. a big old cast iron Dutch oven or something. We've got maybe, what, inch and a half, two inches of oil in there? Yeah. Perfect. Great setup here. If I want to pick some of this stuff up, where do I go? It's simple. Cancooker.com. You got the batter bowl, you got the burners, can cookers, our grills, a bunch of accessories, seasoning. We should say the plank cutting board, which folds up, is pretty dang cool. That's yours as well, right? All right. So, Super simple. Perfect. Maybe I couldn't run it. Yeah. The okay. two outsides. There like we book. go. See? That's it, man. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. How's that fish? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's sizzling nicely. I bet she's getting close. Throw it on this tin with a little paper towel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You Turn fish the fish out of the oil. Right? <laughs> oh, was that bad? You caught it once. I didn't now it's hard for me to catch it. It's something like that. Them hush puppies. Yeah, time for the hush puppies. There's that last one right there. Perfect. Last one, so hush puppies are just as easy. I'm going to have you hold the pan, because I am I might need two spoons. Yeah. It's like a drop cooker. You do this, yeah, okay. and then you drop that right in the hot oil. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah. And another one over here. You don't really want them to touch. Kind of like a dumpling. Yeah, you're making dumplings. Seth, I really appreciate you bringing all your can cooker good stuff around. 
I appreciate you bringing the uh, walleye. Yeah. I, I was really shocked when you showed up with walleye. Yeah. Hey, we live in Nebraska. We got some good walleye fish right? in here. We're going to let those fry. You and I will dig into this while uh, everyone else gets Come ready. On. You got you to gotta try it, man. Yeah, I'll try one. Yeah, uh, and I'll try. Ooh, it's open. even crunchy. Oh, yeah. How's that? Mm. I'm going to throw some hot sauce on there. We're going to dig in. Let's feel it. I'm going to yep. grab a plate. Cool. Thanks, Chad. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, buddy.